Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another Make a Card Monday video. Today I'm going to be making a couple cards using new products from Lawn Fawn. I'm using a couple new dies or die sets, a new stamp set, and also their new ink pads. They, they have 10 ink pads in total, and I'm just going to be using four of them today. You see five on the top of the screen, but I ended up not using that gray ink pad. So the first card that I'm working on is going to feature quite a bit of masking with masking tape and also some blending of the inks onto the cardstock using an ink blending tool. So the first thing I'm doing is masking off the areas to create stripes. So I taped down some Nina Solar White cardstock to my grid mat here. I'm going to be using the lines on the grid mat to help me apply this really thin quarter inch masking tape onto the cardstock. So I'm just using a strip of that masking tape and lining it up on both sides of the paper here with the lines on the grid mat. And then this creates half inch stripes that I'm going to be using to add ink to. So I'm just gonna apply all those on there. After all of the masking tape stripes were applied, I peeled it up from my grid mat and then started working on top of a craft sheet. Because I want to make sure that the colors are only applied to the areas where I want, I peeled off some post-it masking tape. You could use whatever you want for this. You could use actual post-it notes or a thicker masking tape, anything like that, washi tape. You just wanna make sure that the areas around the blue uh, masking tape are masked off completely because that ink's gonna go beyond the quarter inch tape. So the first ink color I used was Mermaid such a beautiful blue. The second color is Sunflower. The third color is Wild Rose. And I skipped to do that one as well since I had that uh, second area masked off anyway. The last color I used is this really nice orange color called Fake Tan, which I think is the most hilarious color name in the world. And it's so memorable. I think they were so smart to name it that it's funny. So I peeled off all of that masking tape. And the thing that I discovered when using this blue masking tape is to kind of hold the masking tape really flat to your work surface and that helps it from tearing up any of your cardstock. So I'm holding it kind of really flat to my work surface here and then I get a really, really clean edge. So after all of the inking was done, I, heat, I hit it with my heat tool because this ink actually settles into the cardstock quite a bit and so it stays um, wet. It's not going to smear smudge, but it, the cardstock just stays a little bit moist for a little bit longer. So I did a test run with my white embossing batter to make sure that it would wipe off and it seemed to work okay. So then I used my anti-static powder tool and put down some powder and then I stamped that one of the stamps from that stamp set and it says happy birthday to you and I just had it fill that aqua colored stripe. So I stamped in Versamark ink and then sprinkled on some Hero Arts white embossing powder. And it looked like it was going to stick to all of the blue inking, but once I tapped off that cardstock really, really well, all of the extra white powder came off and I was able to heat emboss it. So I hit that with my heat tool until everything was melted. And then I prepped my card base. The cardstock I'm using today is Simon Says Stamp Slate cardstock, and I created a side folding landscape card. I adhered that piece to the card base using some foam adhesive, and then I'm using some uh, star wood veneers that are also from the release, and then I use this pack of sequins that are from a previous release. It's from their Hello Sunshine release from a while back, and I use some Ranger Multimedia Matte, or yeah, multimedia mat. I always get that mixed up. Um, I use that for an adhesive to adhere all of the sequins and also the wood veneer pieces. So that is the first card. It's all complete. I'm going to go ahead and set this card aside and create another card using those same ink colors. So I'm starting out with some Nina Desert Storm cardstock. And I've created some DIY stencils using the Party Balloons die set. I just took some clear transparency. This, this happens to be a Lifestyle Crafts window sheet. And I cut out all of those balloons. And I saved the balloon pieces so that I could kind of get an idea of how I wanted these balloons to be stenciled on. So I took a picture of it because I always forget where everything was. So I took a picture on my phone and just had that off to the side while I did some stenciling. 
So I placed the balloon stencil on and then I masked off the balloons that weren't going to be stenciled. And it also just protects the cardstock from that ink going off the edge. And then I took my ink blending tool um, for each color and inked it on. And I really wanted the color to be concentrated on the outer edge of the balloon. So I made sure to bring in the ink from the edges instead of starting in the center. And that really emphasizes the edge of the balloon and gives it a nice, clean, sharp edge. It really defines the shape of the balloon. I moved on to the color Fake Tan using a smaller balloon stencil. And then I went ahead and did the star balloon and I used the sunflower ink for that. This nice, really pretty yellow color. So I noticed that as I did this inking that the colors were quite vibrant, but I also anticipated that they would fade back quite a bit just because that's the property of the ink. And it, do, it does do that. And you'll notice that in the final uh, photos, <clears throat> excuse me, at the very end of the video. So now I'm using Wild Rose and I bring that in on the heart balloon shape. I decided to use that wild rose color one more time on that fifth balloon and just inked up that smaller balloon shape. So after all of the balloons were stenciled, I needed to work on the actual greeting for the card. I'm going to be using a die, that really long die that said happy birthday to you. And I want to adhere that down after it's die cut. So I'm using some stick it tape. This is an adhesive that you apply to the back of your cardstock before you die cut. So I just have this long strip of uh, solar white cardstock here. And I'm applying the stick it adhesive sheet to the back. Then when I go to my die cutting machine, I want to make sure that that's facing down and then with my die on top, that makes sure that the back of the die is where the adhesive is going to be. So I ran that through my Big Shot machine and then it pops out of that cardstock really easily. The stick it sheets don't add a lot of extra bulk or weight to your cardstock, so it should be able to die cut just as well as if it was not, wasn't there at all. So I used my Tim Holtz craft pick to poke out those center areas on the letters. And then I took a Copic uh, 0.3 multi-liner and drew on the strings for the balloons. This is just really easy, just right around the bottom of the balloon, little loops for the ties and then the strings falling down. And then I took the happy birthday to you die or die cut that I prepared earlier and I peeled off the backing so that it revealed the adhesive underneath. The first couple times when I used this stick it on back of die cuts, I thought to myself, what is this? Because it's not sticky at all. I mean, it's a little bit tacky, but it does not seem like it's going to stick to your project at first. But I've since learned that that's one of the features of stick it is that it gives you a little bit of time to move your die cut around and really get it in place until it adheres down permanently. So I was able to peel it up and move it around quite a bit. And then once you've sort of really pressed it down onto your project and it's had a couple minutes, it really adheres permanently to your project. I used my uh, Uniball Signo Broad white gel pen to do the dot on the top of birthday, just because I didn't want to deal with that really tiny little die cut. The card base I'm using today is 110 pound Nina Solar White. And I just created a a top folding landscape card and then adhered that with some Tombow Extreme Adhesive. So here is that card all finished. I'm going to bring in that other card so you can see them side by side and take note of how dark the balloons are right now because I let them dry overnight and then took the photos for this video and you'll be able to see how much that ink kind of faded into the background. So thank you so much for watching today. I will catch you guys on Wednesday for another card video. And until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Just a reminder that all of the supplies used in today's cards are listed down below in the video description or over at my blog. And you can visit my blog at kwarnerdesign.com. Once again, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.